What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here bringing you some more Bloodborne news. And this video is not going to really be talking about anything recent, but instead I'm going to be covering customization. Uh, this is a topic that still is being talked about on my channel, so I decided to go ahead and make a video explaining some of the things that you can expect in Bloodborne and hopefully clearing up some of the questions that you guys may have. But getting right into it, Bloodborne will feature customization and everything that you've seen in any of the Souls games behind it will be implemented in Bloodborne. Miyazaki had also said in an interview that there will be customization options that are going to be solely unique to Bloodborne. Uh, one of which I can go ahead and tell you right now is the ability to customize your own messenger. What you're seeing right now is the fedora skin and the bandages skin that you can equip your messenger with. Keep in mind that these two skins right here are actually pre-order exclusives to people who pre-order either the collector's edition and nightmare edition in Europe. Uh, this is going to be an exclusive pre-order package and if you want a little bit more information on that, what I'll go ahead and do is either leave an annotation on the screen or a link in the description. Also keep in mind that this might not be the only thing that he was talking about as far as uh, unique customization. This is just really the only thing that we know of so far. But going back to your character customization in Bloodborne, everything from your face to the skin tone to the gender, um, hair color, armor, weapons, whatever you can think of will be featured in Bloodborne and you can customize your character to look however you want them to. The two things that will not be in Bloodborne though are going to be shields and heavy armor and uh, that's pretty much self-explanatory so I won't really go into too much detail about that. And in an earlier video that I did about Bloodborne about maybe two months ago, um, I had a comment saying that there's not going to be any unique armor. What you see is basically what your character is going to be for everybody. Um, here is some actual footage showing the character picking up an actual armor set and kind of proving that you will be able to pick up armors and equip them. Also, for those who don't necessarily understand why you see the same character in all of the gameplays that we've seen so far, uh, they pretty much just need basically a poster child, uh, that's with quotes basically, uh, to show somebody so that way you understand what that person is. And uh, just like how it was with the Ferrum set in Dark Souls 2 is basically what this is for Bloodborne. But even with the alpha footage alone, you can basically see that there are going to be different armor sets and whatever worries you have about the customization in Bloodborne, just know that it's going to be as good as any of the Souls games before it and actually even better with these new unique customization options. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, so leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, take care.